Morning, kids. We're carrying on with this. The not speed run. Let me turn my volume down. I got up this morning. Ding, 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 ding. And uh, I was in two minds about. Well, basically, I'll tell you what I did. I had a quick look. So this is the Scotch. Okay. Um, at this level, I should be fine with the Steinitz. Played a game in this actually earlier on today. Okay, they take with the knight, and now we bring your queen out to h4. The point about this is it is refutable. So there, there is a line that white can get a reasonable advantage and force your king to move. Um, it involves coming around here and attacking this pawn, basically. So currently we've got a pawn each. Normally what happens is um, I get into... The middle game with this after the queens come off the board. So very common moves are like this, pin it, say queen comes out. Um, I can't take immediately, can I? Now if the queen comes out, it's knight f6, stuff like that. Anyway, we'll see what they do. See what they do here. Desi Falls is from Nigeria, apparently. Yes. Okay, well, that appears to hang a knight, doesn't it? Okay, yeah, he figured it out. Oh, that's a shame. Okay, well, we're 12.25 now. So, yeah, what I was on about is um, I had a quick kind of just scan down my recent videos to see what's popular, what do people like at the moment. Um, let's play Vienna. And uh, it seemed like the, the most popular ones recently with like over a thousand views. It's a very small channel. Um, the ones that have got over a thousand views were my kind of road to 1700s. Okay. And we'll try Vienna Gambit. Why not? Why not? Why the heck not? Uh, 1284, rapid. People accept it sometimes, you know. It's true, it happens. This is one gambit you should not accept. Similar to the Russo, when we're playing this the other way around. The only difference of the Russo gambit is that white has the bishop out. Kind of. Okay, right, so they go main line. So it's knight here. This is trendy. Knight f3 is the old way. Okay. Um, go on, let's go Paulson attack and see see what they uh, have to say. There are there are good moves. Here. I think knight there, c five. Okay, and when takes, we just take towards the center. We're going to build a nice center here. So yeah, and it looked like the the road to seventeen hundred ones, which is where I play people at my own level were getting more views than um, the not a speed run ones. And then I've had a message this morning saying, please keep these up, they're great. So I was gonna do a poll to say, do you still want to um, me to make these and, and carry on and see how far we can get from 1200? Because I'm not a million miles away from my, my normal account rating, so. <sighs> So now let's play chess, anyway. So we have a Paulson kind of main line. So I've only just woken up. This is my first cup of coffee and I've not had breakfast. Okay, so just checking in there. Um, Bishop b5 is something that people would consider. But notice this pawn is actually hanging. Bishop b5 would prevent that because it would put the knight in an absolute pin. So d4 is very tempting. So you have to say to yourself, well, what if I do this and they start chasing me? Or what if I come back and they do this? Then I end up coming back here and then I lose my pawn. So I'm just going to play d4. I give you all permission if you're like around this rating or below. Figure it out. Give yourself permission. That's all you have to do. So clearly, I have a very obvious target in this, which is the F7 pawn. And I'll tell you for why. It's because I don't have an F pawn. 
So this F file is semi-open, meaning there's only pawns of one colour. It's only a black pawn on it. So I could do what that tapping noise is. Um, I could like develop my bishop to here or here. I could bring in my knight, maybe to e7. Short castle, and I've got my queen and my rook already lined up against the f-file. So that, I think, should be the plan. question is, where does my bishop want to go? Is, is it d3? It's obviously not c4. Is it d3 looking down at this corner? Or is it b5 pinning down this knight? I'm thinking d3. Because it might just make black think, ooh, ooh. So, I mean, now I've got an immediate idea here, right? What is that tapping noise? I can't go here. But I could play queen h5. So then you say to yourself, ooh, look, you go queen h5. It's a checkmate threat. Okay, right, great. But that isn't... That isn't enough to say that is a move that's worth playing, is it? Um, knight here is a thought as well. Because also, remember, if bishop takes, I've got queen takes right now. Um, so if I do this, what they're going to do? Well, they're almost certainly going to push g6. I don't know. My brain's not on fire yet. And when they push g6, I could bring it, bring out my bishop. Attacking this rook, the rook's going to go there. And then what? Then what happens? Now, I'm going to keep developing. I don't feel like I've got enough stuff to execute and complete a convincing attack at this point. But I may do. Well, that... That's... Odd. That is, oh, what does that change? Now if I come here threatening mate, actually it's not mate because he's got an escape. But he is in all kinds of trouble if that happens. I'm thinking castles is still probably the, the right thing to do, but I want to explore this option. And he pushes g6. I mean, sometimes you've even got options of sack the bishop, pawn takes, check. King's then forced into the corner. My bishop could come flying in. Yeah? Taking here makes, no, not while my king's still, um, I, I think I need to castle. I think that's just the right thing to do. I start to look at options from a knight from that odd square. It looks ugly where it is, but maybe the point of this move is to prevent my knight from coming in. Oh, okay. Right, so that is like a double attack. So he's attacking this pawn with a discovery on my queen. Right, now he might trade off rooks. Um, but then he, he does have a checkmate threat to deal with. Now he could win a pawn. I did not calculate pawn takes. I knew my queen could get out of the way, but... See? Calculate more things. Once you've calculated one thing, calculate another one. I have two attackers on this pawn, but I can't capture first with the queen. It's, it's defendified. Um, if I trade rooks, let's say bishop takes, then I can come back. Mm, I'm not sure. I ain't sure. I'm going to take the rook. Because if queen takes, I've got the option of maybe this. He really ought to take with the queen. Taking with the bishop is also possible. A bit more. Okay, my queen's still on pre, so something must be done. Now, for this, they take my queen, I take their queen, they take my bishop. Pointless. Okay, I am a pawn down. Um. But I have quite a bit of initiative against my opponent. My opponent, though, also could do quite well. Now, 
It's got a bit going for him. Do I just drop my queen back here? I don't really want to. I don't. I'm now. Now I'm worried about bishop takes knight and my queen being unable to recapture. If I do my queen here, queen takes dirt, and I lose my knight. So that's not even on. So I think I have to come all the way home. Having said that, it this would cost black the bishop pair. Then I tuck my king away in the corner, and I use bishop A and bishop B to strike out at my opponent's position. I can also recapture this pawn if he does. He ought to do it first, actually. Takes, takes, knight takes. Um, then I can't come here because knight guards that square. Takes here. I'm also unsure about. My bishop's the least. There we go. So for now, he's two pawns up. Can I do this? Okay, I do this, then the magic question, what's my opponent going to do? He could block with the queen, he could move the king there or there. Those I think are the only legal moves. Um, I think he's going to block with the queen and the reason is to protect this pawn. There, there. If I take and allow him to take, I can't go there. Hmm. If I push, takes, takes, and suddenly my bishop's got better. I prefer that. I'm two pawns down. Dance monkey two. Nice tune, very enjoyable tune. I'm threatening to take here with tempo on the knight. Also have a good square for the old queen. Now this, I could just get the pawn back, yeah. But there and the queen blocks. I take here. What you always have to do in a situation like this, right? So I've got a piece lined up against a very valuable piece. Can this bishop move and attack my king? Can it move with check? Well, the answer is no. Can it move and capture anything? No. So what are we worried about? Here, let's say queen she block. I might just take this, you know? And then ideas are pushing on, I think. What's that naughty bishop going to do? I take here, he could come here. Yeah, it's an attack on my queen. Um, maybe I go there. I don't know, let's find out. This pawn is now in the knight's way. This is a tempo move, you have to re remember these things. I'm threatening to take that, partic particularly in blitz. Three and two, and I have two singles and a doubled pair. Right, so my pawns are, no, actually this is, and, and somebody stranded in the middle of the board. Um, so I'm a pawn down. However, my opponent's king is not too secure either, and I have both bishops. My bishops want to be slicing down this way through the board. See, something like this and then the push, that is also a double attack because it's a discovery and the piece that's moved is also moving into an attack itself, right? It's also interesting as well, looking through my... Uh, record on this. So I do have a couple of losses, a couple of draws. It shows it. Oh, hello. People at all these levels can turn around and bite you. Okay, what's the idea of that? I think I'm very tempted just to play this quickly. 
I can't see any reason not to. Right? And, and the, the threat is obvious. It's this, with the discovered check, and I win the bishop. So, undefended, 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 undefended. Defended only by king. It might be worth a special note. Okay, he's moved the king. Clever boy. Now, there's always this idea of dropping my bishop that way. Um, I'd like to put pressure on this. There's, there's a lot of loose stuff around my opponent's camp. Right, all of this stuff is undefended. So I could have ideas of um, attacking the knight somehow. This is also an idea. The pawn can't move, it is pinned. Can't do this because I capture on passant, right? So bishop b2 looks interesting. Threatening to take the pawn with check. He's always got bishop blocks. Another whole kind of line of line of inquiry is this. Or I can also consider this, but then bishop blocks, that's actually a double attack of my queen. But then I, I win a pawn, actually. I do win a pawn. This bishop can always drop back. I'd like to move this guy for no other reason than I'd like to get that rook out in the game and start playing a bit with him. So bishop here is a thought. Hits the knight. I can't go there or there. That's possible. Uh, and then just maybe even rook f1. Cause the queen some headaches. Here, let's say knight goes there, rook f1. Queen goes here. And I still like to get this pawn off the board and open things up. Um, Kicks the knight, kind of same deal. Let's kick the knight, see what happens. <laughs> Could always end up with a discovery thing. But again, this bishop can't move with check. do like this idea. It's just two great things. One, I've got a piece lined up with the king, you know. This pawn is then in a pin, and also this rook is, is free to move around the cupboard. Why curious? So his, th his thought is, oh, this is nice. This is also a double attack idea, yeah? So they take my knight, I'm going to push here. I mean, in fact, it's it's not even that. It's, it's just up the danger levels with the discovered attack on the queen. But in addition to that, there is this threat. So what do we do? That's a very interesting move. It's very interesting. Right, in terms of checks for my queen... this square potentially after the pawn moves. So if I was to go here, he goes here. I think that is probably the square actually. Kind of getting in the way of the bishop, but the bishop really dreams about going to, to b2. I think this is okay. So pawn moves forward. Yes, I'm going to be in check. I'm going to have to move. Queen can't come to f1 because my bishop guards, thankfully. Rook can't come to e1 because my queen guards. Hooray. Okay, so this is all covered, right? You you do this, I go here, and then what? Really want this, this rook active on the back right now. You take... No, you're joking. I take here, he's got rook there. But then I, I have king g2. This bishop's currently out out of play. 
It's either going to be this or, or I take the knight. The question is, can I take the knight? No, I can't. He's got pawn d3 with the discovered check. You bugger. Right. Well, that there you go then. That that um, that convinces me. This. Now, the pawn on d4 can't go to d3 because it's in an absolute pin by the bishop. So now I am threatening to take the knight because that ain't on. This pawn cannot legally move. You clever bastard. So the immediate threat is just taking the knight. And I completely missed the hanging rook. God's sake, right. Right, I'm getting I'm getting whooped, boys and girls. That's what you get for playing chess before breakfast. I'm not happy. But I do still have the bishop pair. But I'm four materials down. I'm down an exchange and a couple of pawns. This bishop must defend this pawn. My back rank is severely weak. That's some smart tactics though from Black. Or or I'm just really dopey this morning, I don't know. No idea. This bishop looks really dumb right now, but you never know what can happen with these discoveries. Excellent play. Well, it feels like excellent play. And Dance Mon Monkey is disconnected. Don't do that. I've got a minute. He can't do this because the pawn is still in absolute pin. He can't do that because king takes. He can't do that because queen takes. Or, or in fact, bishop takes on f1 as well. So I mean, but this move, right? I thought that was good. But this move, and I can't take. So if I take, my queen's on c2. Pawn comes to d3 with a discovered check. I can't capture the bishop because my own bishop's in the way. Terrible. So, what did I do? I moved. Uh, I just, I just plain missed the fact that my rook was hanging, like a muppet. Do that and I'm still okay. Well, I didn't deserve that. I just won that by default, but I'm going to check it on the analysis and see what I did wrong. Okay, here we go. Here we go. If anybody hasn't seen... Uh, Man of Constant Sorrow, a cappella version. Oh my God, what's the band called? Oh Lord, yeah, I'm definitely not awake today. Huh, okay. Um, Home Free, watch it, it's amazing. And it's got that little, little like 90s hit, 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 hit. here we go. But all a cappella, brilliant. Beatboxing, incredible. Okay, and uh, yeah, really ground down here. But I did. I got into a good position, and then I got worse. And there was one brilliant move by Black. Okay. See, if I'm going back to the Vienna, I'm gonna see this a lot. Like a lot of people are playing this. Knight, knight c6, not the best. D4. Okay, we thought it through. 
we realised that the pin idea was um, pointless because it, the bishop can be chased off, and then we have hanging pawn with tempo against the queen, right? All good so far. Bishop d3, best move, excellent. Knight h3, no, mate. It says no. Knight e2 is best. So knight h3 is a mistake. Why? Oh. What? Because they just come out here? And if I block the check, it loses the knight. Wow. Why can't I do this? So it doesn't lose a knight. You, you come out with these things, fish. You come out with these things and you make it up as you go along. Bishop g5. No. Bishop g5. So that, that's not worse at all. Anyway, I'll put my knight there. Not ideal. I, I know that knight e2 is, is a good move. A lot of the time in, in the Vienna. I mean, that's n no way to base your final. I'm going to play that because I think it's a good move in other lines. Right, that's not, again, not enough. This is a miss, should have played that. Yeah, yeah. And here, Castles was not right. Here, going straight in. We talked about this, going straight in with the attack. Right, now Queen H5. If they push G6, I mean, okay, F5 is also playable. And if they push G6, then we can indeed sack. King's forced into the corner. And it's saying immediate rook f1. Oh, now it's saying you can castle. So that was the time to swing the axe. That was the time to go for it. I just didn't figure it all out. And then my bishop could come in. Interesting. Okay. So, yeah, I, I just I just lost my... Uh, lost it all, really, at that point. I'm thinking, no, castles make sense. Right, well, I don't know. But from that point on, black played well. Let's look at best move diff. Where are we in the game? Okay, we're here. So I've got, as white here above the line, I've got a couple, you know, three not very good ones. Black's got a couple of, you know, a few questionable. But then this move, hand it to you, mate. And, and to be honest, Whoever you are, wherever you are, you just you deserve to win that game. Uh, and I didn't because he played 1750 level. We both played the opening immaculately. Awesome. Um, in the middle game, I was not so hot. But a win is a win and we keep climbing up the rating ladder. So thanks for watching everyone. I'm going to hang out with my kids today. Hope you caught the rugby last night, England-Argentina. <laughs> All right. See you later.